Okay, so this is video number two um, for social media psychology. I really don't know the official name of the class. That's so probably like really bad. But anyways, I noticed that in a lot of the first videos that we did, a lot of you kind of talked about yourselves and what you do and who you are as a person. So I thought about doing that, but then I was like, nah, um, because I would rather you guys get to know me through these videos and what i choose to talk about and what i'm passionate about so with that being said i've had to drag people all week and it's tuesday but all week about the fact that on sunday moonlight won an oscar and a lot of it has come from black the black community really um oh it's a gay film it shouldn't have won and oh why is it that black people have to be portrayed as criminals or whores or um some kind of other negative archetype like a mammy or any, anything like that and now in addition to that all of those uh negative stereotypes and archetypes that are played it was added that oh why he have to be gay that lets me know right there that you didn't watch the movie because the movie um, really discusses a person's milestones that they cross in life and it talks about gentrification, it talks about drug abuse, it does touch on sexuality in the movie, it does, but it discusses so much more and it's a very powerful film and I know that when people say, oh it's a gay film, it shouldn't have won, that they didn't see the movie. Or, you know, some people are just, you know, narrow-minded. It's a movie that you have to be open-minded to watch. And I felt like a lot of people just really aren't open-minded. And what shocks me and what kind of upsets me is I'm a very big advocate for marginalized communities. Uh, as a person of color, you know, I, I'm an advocate for that. But it just really upsets me that a lot of homophobia comes from communities that aren't that it comes from the black community a lot and um if you really delve into history um you have to look at stuff like where where homophobia is taught um and it's a generational thing um you had buck breaking where white slave owners would literally rape uh black men in front of their sons and in front of their families to assert dominance and to break them down and you know if something like that occurs and uh, it's taught from generation to generation, then yeah, you do have an aversion to that lifestyle, especially if you don't understand it. Uh, so I, I say all of that to say that one marginalized community, especially when you want tolerance and acceptance from another community as black people, you don't need to turn around and sit there and you know, ostracize and place a stigma on another marginalized community that kind of, you know, wants the same thing as you. Think about it. Thanks. Bye.